Would you believe me if I told you that this man was hit by nine bullets shot by a firing squad, including a kill shot in his head, and yet he survived? Night Farm, I'm about to show you crazy stories of convicts who survived their own executions. Starting with Venezuela Moguel, who was captured after he was suspected of joining the Mexican Revolution. He was unfairly charged without trial and was sentenced to death by a firing squad. On his execution day, he was shot nine times in his body. And for the final kill shot, right in his head. Assuming he was already dead, executioners left Mogul's body. But what happened next was way unexpected. Because somehow he was able to stand and walk to a nearby church where he was treated. He didn't even suffer brain damage. Mogul's life was expected to end that day. But guess what? He was able to live for 60 more years. Wow, this is just unbelievable. But wait till you hear the next story. The man you see right now was sentenced to death by lethal injection. Romeo Broom may have been prepared for death, but death just wasn't prepared for him. Because on the day of his execution, medical experts failed to find a single vein that would react to the injection. And get this, while lethal injections usually take about five minutes, Broom's supposed execution lasted for two hours and took 18 attempts until finally they decided to give up and let him live. How could his own body save him from the consequences of his evil deeds? Well, it was very awful. At one point, blood spurted out. The doctor um, from the prison came in and attempted to establish an IV in his uh, ankle and she jabbed the needle into his bone and you, that was just terrible. You could see him. He was just in terrible pain. Do you think perhaps the universe decided to let him live and pay for his crimes in prison? Because our next lucky guy was 16-year-old Willie Francis, who had been convicted of murder and was sentenced to death by electric chair. While he was trapped on the electric chair, fearfully waiting for the end of his life, there was supposedly a technical difficulty, or should I say a drunken mistake. Francis was heard screaming, Take it off! Take it off! Let me breathe! I'm not dying! Turns out, the executioners were drunk when they set up the electric chair, so they connected the wrong wires. And so Francis lived to tell his story. It felt like a hundred and a thousand needles and pins were pricking in me all over, and my left leg felt like somebody was cutting it with a razor blade. I could feel my arms jumping at my sides. Wow. From miraculously surviving death by firing squad, a lethal injection malfunction, to a drunken electric chair mistake. It's amazing how life sometimes just decides this will be our last day or it allows to keep going on. And so I wanted to use this opportunity and send a message to all of the people sitting on the other side of the computers or phones to live your life like there is no tomorrow. Be proud of the way you live, have no regrets, because truly, truly, sometimes you may survive by miracle, and sometimes you never know when is your last day.